There's a pretty good chance that the first action figure that you ever bought of your favorite horror movie icon came courtesy of Todd McFarlane and his once mega popular movie maniacs line. These figures were undoubtedly game changers in the collecting world and today we're going to look back on the history of them. But first, I want to take you back to my childhood. Here I'm 11 years old and yes, that is indeed a photo of me. Look at that bowl cut. Gorgeous. And I remember being at my local Toys R Us and there were some Spawn action figures on display. Now these are pretty expensive at the time, so all I could do was look, touch, and smell these detailed works of horrific art. Now upon turning over the packaging, something caught my eye. Something I had never seen before. Highly detailed action figures from beloved horror movies called Movie Maniacs. Now being a new Freddy fan, I was longing for a highly detailed action figure of Mr. Kruger, but alas, at the time, there was nothing. Flash forward a couple of months later, when my parents and I went to explore the now recently closed down Harborside Shopping Center here in Sydney, located in Darling Harbor. There was a toy store in the center. It ranged from cute and cuddly plush toys right up to McFarlane toys. I remember going in and in the darkest corner of the store, there he was, the Freddy Krueger action figure from the movie Maniacs line featuring the small Freddy puppet from the third film. Now, unfortunately, mum and dad didn't buy me the figure as they felt I wasn't mature enough to have such a horrific piece of plastic in my possession. Fair enough. No, it's not fair enough. But a couple of years later in 2001 for Christmas, I eventually got the 18 inch motion activated Freddy Krueger figure from the Movie Maniacs line. And with that, my love for the Movie Maniacs began. Now it's pretty safe to say that because of this niche and obscure toy line, we now have some very well-known brands that are still pumping out movie based figures to this very day. Even though the Movie Maniacs line has ceased production until now, but those don't count. Seriously, what the hell is that? Hey guys, welcome to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking back on the trailblazing story of the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs line. Stay tuned. Long before companies like NECA, Mezco, and Sideshow Collectibles came along and gave more love to the horror genre than any other toy companies in history, McFarlane Toys was not just the dominant player in the game, but well, the only player in the game. The genesis of McFarlane Toys is that the company was born out of Todd McFarlane's dissatisfaction with Mattel. Once upon a time, McFarlane was working with Mattel to create action figures of his comic book characters like Spawn. And when that whole deal just didn't work out for him, Todd took matters into his own hands and launched a toy division of his own. This was back in the mid 90s and it was in the late 90s that the Movie Maniacs line was born. In the wake of putting his own spin on iconic movie monsters from distant past, McFarlane began acquiring popular modern horror licenses for the Movie Maniacs line. Launched in 1998. The first series which revolutionized the toy game by bringing highly detailed action figures of beloved horror movie characters to the toy shelf for the first time included Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, Freddy Krueger, and both Eve and Patrick from Species 2, firmly establishing that the line was devoted exclusively to horror and science fiction villains. There were even rated R variants of Leatherface, Jason, and Eve. Leatherface and Jason were covered in blood, while Eve's nipples, unlike the regular version of the toy, were on full display. Dead set, I actually remember these particular variants at Electronics Boutique not EB games, and they were behind the counter. And unless you had a parent or an adult guardian with you, they would not sell it to you. Crazy. Movie Maniac Series 2 released in 1999 added Chucky, Ghostface, Norman Bates, Michael Myers, and Pumpkinhead to the mix. And they were joined by the Crows' Eric Draven. Granted, Draven isn't exactly a movie maniac. Essentially, any character from a horror, sci-fi, cult, or fantasy film was eligible, though the primary target audience always remained us horror fans. Now in Series 3, Ash Williams, Edward Scissorhands, Shaft, Snake Plissken, Brundlefly, and the Thing's Norris creature joined by Spiderhead and the Blair monster were immortalized as movie maniacs. Now series four brought the first and only Candyman toy into the world, along with Evil Ash, a new figure of Freddy Krueger based on his look from Elm Street 1. We also had Terminator 2's T-800 and T-1000. And most notably, two different versions of the titular Blair Witch. We had the Tree Witch and the Dread Witch. Of course, the character was never actually 
actually seen in the original film or its sequel, leading to much confusion among fans, including yours truly. Long story short, McFarlane was given free reign to design the character. For the fifth series, McFarlane and his team brought horror villains like Wishmaster's Jin, the Tooth Fairy from Darkness Falls, Open Mouth and Closed Mouth versions were released, and even Jason X's iteration of Jason Voorhees to the table. Along with the Lord of Darkness from Legend, portrayed by Tim Curry, a few different versions of Sarah Connor and the T-800 Endoskeleton. Series 6 was all about the Alien and Predator franchise, as they were quite hot at the time, and it included Alien 3's Dog Alien and Alien Resurrection's Warrior Alien, as well as Predator 2's Standard Predator and Predator Hunter. Due to high demand, Lord of Darkness was also re-released in Season 6, and the figure this time around included a detailed collector's base. Unfortunately, the Movie Maniacs line met its end in 2004, with the seventh series being its final hurrah. Corporal Hicks from Aliens made it into the line along with finally Robocop, but the last series was mostly devoted to the 2003 remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We had Leatherface, Aaron, Old Monty and Sheriff Hoyt who made the cut, each of them packaged with dioramas and bases. In addition to the standard wave of movie maniacs, various other collectibles were released under the umbrella. We had deluxe figures of Ash, Freddy, Chucky, Michael Myers and Leatherface, upgraded the movie icons to 12 inch and 18 inch sizes, and box sets that paid tribute to movies like Freddy vs Jason, long before the movie was actually made. We also had brighter Chucky, King Kong, Aliens and Jaws. Now the Jaws box set is quite a rarity to this day and it fetches upwards of a thousand Australian dollars on eBay. Now you could argue that to this day, horror toys are a lot better than ever in terms of quality. But you never forget your first. And for most of us fans, McFarlane Toys' Movie Maniacs line allowed us to collect our favorite monsters and madmen for the very first time. All these years later, many of the villains that filled out the line here has still never been given any love by any other companies. And it's for this reason that we will forever cherish for what Todd and his team gifted us with back in the late 90s and early 2000s. These days, McFarlane Toys is more focused on The Walking Dead, Halo, sports figure lines, but it's pretty safe to say without their movie maniacs, who's to say the horror toys wouldn't be as popular as they are right now? Without movie maniacs, companies like NECA may not even exist. Behind every great thing is a pioneer that made it all possible. And in the world of horror toys, McFarlane's movie maniacs was undoubtedly that pioneer. And hands down, one of the biggest highlights of my time collecting action figures, which still continues to this day. The detail on these figures was so ahead of their time. They had no business looking that good, but they did. And they're still fucking awesome to this very day. So with that being said, let me know down below your first memories of Movie Maniacs and do you still collect them to this very day? Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I definitely enjoyed filming it. Love your guts and I'll catch you in the next one.